Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to um, set up ESP with MQTT broker and whenever it receives a command from the broker it sends out uh, serial commands to the Arduino and then Arduino uh, scans those um, serial commands and then controls this uh, four relays or as many as you want. Um, it's very very simple, here let's see it at work. So zero turns it on one turns it off, two turns two on, three turns two off, four turns three on, five turns three off, six turns four on, and seven turns four off. And then you can do all evens and turn them all on. These wires are in the way. So they're all on. You can kind of see if I block the light. And then to turn them all off, I'll just hit all the odd numbers. That's how, that's how it works. It's really kind of hard to see, but those b bottom three pins here are all connected together. So I have here um, the reset and chip power down and the positive are all connected together. That way it doesn't reset or power down on me. Uh, this is the RX, this is a TX, this is the ground. Let me kind of clear out a little bit. And then here's GPIO 0 and GPIO 2, which are not used. So I'm using just one wire uh, to connect to the Arduino Nano. So whenever uh, ESP sends a code, it sends it through serial. And I don't really care about the reply. That's why there's not a RX pin here used. So here is a sketch that will be uploaded to Arduino Nano and um, these are the four pins that will be controlling the relays and um, whenever the pins are low the relays are on. So here I have in the setup I have um, these are my four pins declared, they're made them in outputs and here high which will turn them off. So initially once the Nano boots up or whenever it receives power it will turn off all the relays and then in a loop here it will scan the serial line and then whenever it receives something in a serial it will store it here and then in a switch statement it will compare it like if it receives 0 it will make pin 12 low if it receives 1 it will make pin 12 high and so on till all the way to 7 so whenever it receives 7 um, it will make pin 9 high it's only 52 lines of code um, it's all really simple so all this does is just scans the serial line and then if it finds something that has a zero in it it will turn this on if it has a one it will turn that on and that's it now over here in this code this will be uploaded to ESP8266 you need these two libraries PubSub client and ESP make sure that uh, Wi-Fi is first W and then the F is capitalized. There's like several of these libraries. Just make sure you get this one. It works for me anyway. And then so here you would define your um, MQT broker's IP address. In, in my case is this one. And then you just your SSID, your, your, your Wi-Fi SSID, and then your password here. Um, so whenever you boot up the ESP, it will log on to your um, router. Uh, here, um, just uh, this is a topic that I want to subscribe to to be notified about. So whenever I, um, whenever the Arduino, I mean, I'm sorry, whenever ESP um, receives a command, it sends back a reply to make sure to, to confirm whatever it received. Uh, so here, just some code um, in the callback portion here this is where it'll be sending out information so or I'm sorry we'll be receiving so whenever um, the payload this is what it receives from the broker whenever broker sends a zero it um, publishes it to out topic uh, back to the broker to tell him that the relay one is on and at the same time it sends a zero to the nano and then if you remember here uh, whenever nano receives a zero oops let me 
scroll down, it will turn pin 12 low. And uh, pin 12 is over here, which will be the relay 1. So it will turn the relay 1 on. And then whenever um, the broker sends a 1, it will confirm it in the out topic that say that relay 1 is off, and then it will send a 1 to Arduino. And then same thing here, whenever the broker sends 2, it will reply back to broker in this topic and say relay 2 is on, and then it will send 2 in a serial to Nano, Arduino Nano. And then same thing will happen here if it receives a 3 from the broker, it will reply to the broker in this topic, let's say that the relay 2 is off, and then it will send a 3 to Arduino. And um, this kind of keeps going. And then if it ever loses connection, it'll like if the Wi-Fi whatever gets moved and it's out of the range with the router, it will attempt to reconnect. Blah blah blah. So you can just copy this code down. Um, and that's it. That's pretty simple. So this part here is what you'll be changing or modifying to your needs if you want to use it, but there it is. Okay, in the next part of this video, I'll show you how to set up um, the broker for the MQTT. I'm using uh, Raspberry Pi on, using Node Red. Here's my flow. I have these nodes here. These are the buttons that you saw on my phone. So when you go here, so you saw these buttons, 0 through 7, and you can name them anything you want. I just did 0 through 7 because it's easier for me. But if you uh, double click on the button to name it, like I have on a label, I have zero, but you can put uh, relay or whatever you want to name it. And then whenever you go to deploy um, and go to the button, it says relay now instead of zero. But um, I'm going to make it zero because uh, it's easier for me. And then here, before I go further, uh, on the payload, this is what's going to be sent whenever you press the button. So once uh, button zero is pressed, it's going to send a zero. And it's connected to the MQTT, so it's going to send a zero to the MQTT end topic. And uh, to set this up, uh, for the server, you type in the IP address of the broker. So this is my Raspberry Pi's broker IP address. And then this is a topic that it's going to be sent to whatever this information is. So whatever number we press, that number or it's going to be sent to this topic. And um, let me close that out. If you remember from our Arduino, um, end topic is what is being received. And uh, over here, out topic is what being sent. So out topic relay one is on, is going to be sent to out topic here and it's going to be displayed in this message board right here so whenever I press 1 um, it turns the relay 1 on and then it sends a message to confirm it and the message appears here I don't have it hooked up right now so it's not gonna work but uh, basically that's it and you just set these rest of the buttons up uh, the payload is 1 for button 1 uh, the payload is 2 for button 2 and so on and then of course the out topic, out topic, and then broker's IP address. And that's it. I uh, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think.